Now let's welcome Ken McDonald from Team Snap. Having coached youth basketball for more than 15 seasons, Ken understands the impact coaches have on kids' lives. Please welcome Ken McDonald. Tonight I want to talk about two youth athletes, Robert and David. Now Robert joined our basketball team about two years ago, and on the first day of practice, we always ask all the kids, what's your favorite thing about basketball? And Robert's response was, nothing. And before he could even finish his answer, his buddy cut him off and said, he's right. He hates everything about basketball. He sucks at it. He's only here as a reward for helping me not flunk science. Okay. So as a coaching staff, we got together after practice that day and we came to two conclusions. First, Robert needed to work on his negotiating skills. And secondly, we were going to do everything in our power to make sure that Robert had a good season. And, and yet it was tough. I mean, he showed up to, you know, all those first practices with this scowl on his face and just, you know, his attitude was just not there. And we just worked with him on really basic defensive skills. And then about the third practice, he made a steal. And then another steal. And another steal. And that slowly that scowl started to melt away. And we built up the confidence in to bring up the ball. And then uh, the ability to take some shots first in practice and then during the game. Now fast forward uh, to this year, about two years, we go to this tournament. A lot of really strong players. And uh, we get shellacked the first four or five games. Uh, we finally get a game where we're in the hunt. We're down by two, two minutes left. One of our starters is dead tired. We look at the bench. Robert had been having a solid tournament. He really come a long way. We put him in. He made some key plays with another player. We ended up winning the game at the buzzer. And that look on his face was unbelievable. And it wasn't just about like, you know, the fact that we'd won the game. For him, he knew that the thing was more about how far he had come in such a short period of time. It was just awesome. Now, I want to contrast that with uh, David. David's an athlete I coached about 10 years ago. I went to go watch one of his high school basketball games recently, and he was lighting it up on offense. I mean, he was hitting threes like he was Steph Curry. He, uh, on defense, the guys he guarded that game, I don't think they scored a single point. He had a whole bunch of block shots, rebounds, steals. I mean, he was just dominating every inch of the court. There was a former pro player sitting next to me watching, and he said, doesn't get much better than that in high school. And he was right. After the game, David comes off. I go to catch up with him. He's got this long face. I'm like, what's up? That was an unbelievable game. He goes, my coach says I'm not a real player. I got three problems. I said, well, what else did he say? Did he at least congratulate you? Said, nope, I just, I'm not a real player. You fast forward six weeks, David had quit the sport. Basically, the only activity he was really passionate about in life and had been passionate about since he was three years old, he quit that, ended up uh, giving up his aspirations of playing college basketball. In the end, 17 kids out of that program ended up dropping out. Many of them are still dealing with some of the psychological issues of being on such a negative program. Now hopefully it's very apparent which one of those programs has really adopted the PCA uh, methodology. And that brings me to why as TeamSnap we just are so um, supportive of, of the PCA. You know, at, at TeamSnap we started the company as a bunch of coaches, four coaches, building an app to take away that logistical burden of running your team so that you could focus on the athletes and have more experiences like what I described with Robert. So with that, I want to just congratulate the award winners tonight and thank all you guys for your support of PCA. Good night.